Hello, this is Grinstar. I'm using Bitwig for the first time. Um, just bought something and got it off of Plugin Boutique. This is the 8-track version, um, as you can see up here. Um, realistically, I have no clue about this thing, so this is kind of a, a blind playthrough. Um, or blind playing around with it for the first time. I can see all my, my plugins got here, my uh, Arturia stuff. Um, some other things going on over here. Uh, so basically, the the plugin bank. There's my isotopes. Hey, look, a contact. Um, should be a reason. Hey, there we go. Reason. So does that work? Oh, look at that. That actually works. And I kind of like Ableton. Ableton here. It's it's got the thing that you can add. What is this? So, oh, this must be like a VST chain. It's cool. I know. I know some of this. I, I saw some of the, the things on there. Um, like these are scenes. And it looks like it's defaulting to my external speakers. Uh, Kind of cool interface. Kind of... There we go. That's not cool. Oh, well and good, but... What happened to direct and... Okay, run this, uh... Oh, looks like I'm capturing it good. Alright. That's good. Now, if I wanted to, I think I can drop this into the scene, and then I could just grab this and use it as like a, um, like a pattern, like you would in. That's kind of cool. Kind of low, though. Oh, sorry. Pretty cool.
I remember hearing right, they said that this is developed by some of the X guys that developed Appleton. That's why you have some of the Appleton look like, but it, not along with the uh, coolness of some of the other features that Appleton don't have. Like I'm pretty sure they don't have this. Kind of weird. It'll take a while for me to get used to this. Almost as much as it got me for Reaper. All right, uh, how do I get back to, here we go. Yeah, if I remember right, there's not a whole lot of advanced routing in this basic version. Um, I think that's what primarily it's missing. Trip console. Eight. So all of the, if I remember right, to you can take a lot of stuff and add like LFOs and stuff like that on basically any one of these chains. Really easy. I just don't remember. It's been a while. It. it there we go. That's cool. That is kind of neat, but I am looking for just a general LFO. Add something in here that allowed you to... So I gotta admit, I'll do like the, the VST browser. That's This is kind of neat. because it's not on a channel by itself. How does that work? Oh, there we go. Change the...
Yeah. This is pretty cool. Um, probably gonna have a couple more videos mess around with this, at least get a couple more modulation and, and play around with this some more, but I just wanted to record, record my kind of my first reactions uh to the software. Um and, and get it on YouTube. Uh thank you for watching.